Wow, we are getting very, very lax with our definition of slim. The following program is rated TV M-A-N-O-C. It contains a big pair of nuts directly on your chin. It is intended only for mature audiences. Viewer discretion advised. What's going on, fam? It's your boy, Papa Swolio, back with some more nuts on your chin. Thank you so much for being here. Smash that subscribe button, like the video if you enjoy the salty ball bag, and make sure you check all the links down below. Remember, you can get your fitness on, you can get your meditation on, you can get your yoga on inside Swolnormous X with the Swole fam. Check out SwolnormousX.com. You got some free classes in the description box down below. You can also download your free copy of The Seven Pillars of Swolnormous. All that good stuff over at SwoleNormousX.com. The Swole Fam is where you want to be, especially going into the winter, going into the holiday season, going into the brand new year. We all know 2020 has been an absolute hot mess, but that's only if you are not surrounding yourself with the best people and you're not focused. If you're focusing on all the negative things, of course it's gonna be negative. You gotta lift yourself up and join the Swole Fam. So today we're gonna talk about some BMI stuff. Now, the very, very sensitive population that we have to deal with in our culture, all the people, your coworkers, your friends, everyone that gets very, very offended, the offended culture, the outrage culture. Everyone just wants their feelings protected. Look at me, pay attention to me. My feelings matter. Well, so do facts and so does reality. And obesity is a major problem. Now, the interesting thing about 2020 is we are so focused on viruses. We're so focused on these other social issues. Not to say that there aren't issues that we can improve on in this great nation. Of course, we should always try to improve. That's why eighth place trophy are such a, a snub to the American mindset. You know what I'm saying? Like, we need to put greatness on a pedestal again. We should try to do better. We should try to be better for ourselves and for those around us. So that being said, don't you want to strive to do better? Don't you want to level up your game? So instead of focusing on all these other distractions and conveniently ignore the fact that 30 to 40,000 people die from obesity related issues every single month, we're worried about these viral cases, one or two, like a couple here and there, people are dropping dead from obesity related issues every day, every day, no one cares about it. No one cares, you don't hear anyone talking about obesity, it's quite the opposite. We are promoting obesity, we're promoting fat acceptance, right? We don't wanna hurt people's feelings. If you're fat, the fatter the better. If you're not super, super fat or infinifat, you're not fat enough. And if you lose weight, you are against fat people, you're a horrible ex-fat, all that nonsense. I mean, drop in the comments down below. I'm sure you are sharing my videos or you are talking about similar topics I cover on this channel and you're getting pushback, you're getting your friends or your coworkers unfriending you or giving you crap in the comments. I've seen it. We're talking about this all the time on the Daily Soul podcast, but I'm sure you deal with this. So just drop that comment down below. If you're dealing with a lot of jabronis out there that get offended when you share my content or you talk about this kind of stuff, which is why I shout it from the rooftops, from the swole tops, while I flex and drink some coffee and oh, and act a fool, I say what you can't say. These are legitimate concerns because this kind of victimhood culture, this victimhood mentality is taking over our country. It's not good. It's not good. You see it everywhere now. It's not just fat acceptance, it's everything. It's reparations for everyone all the time, 24 hours a day. The more marginalized you are, the more your feelings could conceivably get hurt, the more valuable of a person you are in our society. So let's not reward merit anymore, shall we? Especially these slim women. Now that was a long ramp up to this topic, but let's look at this post. Let's look at this shit post. So this picture shows a bunch of women Okay, they're women. They're women, you got all the races covered, or most of them, right? You gotta go white, black, white, black. It's a very culturally appropriate nowadays, right? It's a very warm, heartwarming picture. Just a reminder that all of these slim women are classified as obese on the BMI scale. Okay. Okay, you're saying these slim women, you see how the post slips that in there? Slim women, that's subjective. You're calling these women slim? I don't think they're slim. They look very average, which is unfortunately in this country, average looks out of shape. These women don't look like they exercise. These women don't look like they eat really healthy. They just don't. Now I'm not saying they're horrifically ugly. I'm not saying that you should hate on these women. I'm not saying anything about their skin color. Like I'm not being a hater. I, in my opinion, I don't think these women look healthy. They just look very, 
average. They look average and guess what is gonna offend people? I mean, anything, but average is unhealthy in this country. So when you say average, we look at this and we show these pictures and we use this as a, people try to use this as a spearhead for look, this is what average is, this is okay. I look at that and I think that's what average is. It shouldn't be the average. That shouldn't be the average. People that just don't look like they exercise should not be the average. So it's not a justification like, hey, this is what normal looks like. Normal is obese pretty much in this country. Normal is not taking care of your health. Normal is not meditating. Normal is not practicing yoga. Normal is not exercising. Normal is not drinking enough water. Normal is not getting enough sleep. You see where I'm going with this? So the normal and the average isn't something that we should be trying to achieve. That shouldn't get a trophy. Okay, everyone's going to look different. Everyone's going to be different based on DNA, genetics, how you were raised, all those different things. But let's not kid ourselves, okay? That's not justification to be like, well, I'm morbidly obese. Hey, it's just my genetics, right? I'm just different. Everyone's different, right? Everyone's different. Everyone's beautiful. Everyone's valuable. It seems like a really weak ass argument. It seems like it just covers all the bases and doesn't actually help anyone. It just promotes this victimhood mentality. So under the picture, it says, don't let whatever number you are on the BMI scale make you feel bad. Oh, we wouldn't want your feelings to get hurt. The BMI scale is a poor way of measuring health. Well, fortunately for all of us, the BMI scale does not measure health. Guess what it does? It's the body mass index based on your height and weight. And yes, there are many flaws, especially if you exercise, you have more lean muscle mass, you might show up as overweight or obese like I do on the BMI scale because muscle for the actual volume weighs more than fat because it's more dense tissue. So people that are using this as, you know, victimhood, BMI doesn't measure health. It doesn't measure health. It measures your body mass index. There's an approximation that's actually surprisingly accurate for people that don't take care of themselves. The average person, that's who it fits. If you are an athlete or you exercise, it's one metric. It's like stepping on the scale. You step on a scale, it does a scale doesn't tell the difference between a baby and a bucket of water. Both of them weigh eight pounds. Obviously, a baby is much different for the constitution than a bucket of water, wouldn't you say? Wouldn't you say a baby is different than a bucket of water? So a scale only tells you eight pounds. This is how much the earth is pulling it into the center, right? This is how much gravity is working on this object or on this mass or on this grouping of molecules. A baby and a bucket of water are very different things. <sighs> that being said, it's only one metric, just like circumferential measurements and measuring your waist and measuring your arms. It's only one aspect, body fat, Percentage is one measurement, okay? BMI is another measurement. You take all these different things into account. You do blood work. You know, health is a very loosely used term. We say health and fitness. Man, that's why the health and fitness industry is such a hot mess. You have health, and then you have beauty, then you have fitness. These are such vague terms because it's, it's just, you know, we're mixing up things that people like to do, enjoyment activities, just being generally active, moving, like walking and sitting down and standing up to bodybuilding type training and lifting weights. And then there's kettlebells and there's bands, there's different types of weights. There's more cardiovascular capacity. There's running, there's doing, there's just so many different things to do. There's so many different sports, so many different activities, so many different goals. Like what is health? You see what I'm saying? What is health? How are we actually defining health? So anytime someone just says health, or says fitness, it's just such a vague term, it can be interpreted in so many different ways. So it's used as leverage to justify not being, or not excelling, or not trying to do better. And that's what I find detestable. I'm just tired of all this justification for not excelling. Sure, like, do they, are these women ugly? That's subjective. You might not think they're attractive, okay? You might think they're attractive, and you have the right to think both of those things. Plugging in here that all of these slim women, wait a second, they're not slim, they're turned to the side, you got that knee bend, they got that nice Instagram, you know, posing, they're hiding their bodies behind. If they're standing straight facing the camera, they'll probably all look obese because the BMI chart looks like it's fairly accurate. You know, she's wearing a one piece in the center, they're twisting, they're turning, I'm sure they're sucking their stomachs in, they're smiling, they're wearing light pastel colored, makes them slimmer, right? It's, it's a nice picture, but it's shot in a certain way and it's captioned in a certain way to justify not excelling. And that's what I'm tired of. Why can't we accept things but want more? Why can't we accept things but want to do better? This is seriously just lowering the fucking bar. And we're demonizing people that excel. We're demonizing people that are really fit. We demonize people that are trying to do better. 
that's what we're doing. We are lowering the bar for achieving to the point where you don't have to do anything. You could actually just be like, hey, look at my skin color, look at my body weight size, look at where I am, oh, you should feel bad for me. And then we're giving that person all the attention and all the, the reparations in any aspect, fat acceptance, body positivity, all this social justice nonsense. Like we're just justifying literally just being average. And I don't think we should justify being average. There's always gonna be average or normal or the bell curve. There's always gonna be that middle grouping of people that are just where most people fall into. Most people don't want to be insanely fit. Most people aren't that into training and exercise. Most people are never gonna be that into nutrition, unfortunately, right? Everyone's gonna fall in the middle and unfortunately that middle is getting more and more fat, more and more unhealthy. So the average, just saying something is average is not a positive thing. You've seen the movie Wally. I've done content on that recently, justifying being average and less than average, all the sizings of clothing are changing because we're getting bigger and bigger, we're getting more and more unhealthy. So we're losing perspective on what actual health is and what the normal or the average should be. We're going after BMI as if BMI is talking about health. BMI is giving you a metric based on your height and your weight. And it doesn't fit every single situation, but it's very damn accurate. And it definitely paints a picture of what people generally, what category people generally fall into. If you don't exercise and you fall into obese on the BMI scale, you're probably not healthy. Like, how are you gonna be healthy if you fall in the obese category and you don't have any muscle mass, never really trained in your life? Like, it's not gonna look good. It's not, you can see, you can judge a book by its cover in so many situations. If someone looks horrifically anorexic, they're not healthy looking. They don't look like they're taking care of themselves, okay? If someone's obese, Eh, they're not gonna look healthy. They're not gonna look like they take care of themselves. Like, you don't even need to do all these tests on it. You can objectively see what someone generally does with their life. They don't look like they exercise. They don't look like they eat healthy. No one's eating super well, training regularly, and really taking care of their health. That's morbidly obese. It, it just doesn't exist. Flat out does not exist. It's not magic. It's just fundamental physics and people are just completely just forgetting that science exists. That's the scary part about all this. And of course, the person that posted this picture, Alex Light. Body confidence and anti-diet. It's always gotta be anti-diet. It's gotta be anti-racist, anti-diet, anti-anti. We're against this. We're against dieting. We're against eating healthy. We're against the system. We're against science. We're against logic. We're against common sense. Oh, we are so righteous and virtuous, aren't we now? Helping women feel good about their bodies. Good, okay. Why can't you help them feel good by helping them take care of their bodies better? Ah, ha, ha, ha. Oh. Remember what I always say? Don't change your lifestyle, don't change your habits, just change your hashtag and you're all set. Eating disorder recovery, that's kind of like a blanket statement to give air cover for anything else you wanna say. If you say I'm an eating disorder specialist or an eating disorder therapist and blah, blah, you could say whatever you want because, whoa, you don't wanna tread on that because eating disorder is such a sensitive issue with like 80% of people, that's a random stat, but everyone's got eating disorders. If you're choosing fast food on the corner as an option for your nutrition, you have some serious like screws loose. And I'm not saying I've been perfect my entire life. I've documented that and talked about it constantly. But if you're making those kinds of food choices, you got some kind of disorder going on to think that that should be going in your face hole. Legit. Way too much virtue signaling for one post. But anyway, what are your thoughts on this picture? Do you think these women are slim? That's subjective. What do you think about BMI? I just don't like this war on BMI. It's very descriptive. And if you look obese, chances are you're not healthy. Why is that such a horrific thing? Because it hurts your feelings. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. This is the world that we live in. So if you're trying to share content, you're trying to talk to people in your circle and they're pushing back and they're whining and they're complaining, why don't you join the Swole Fam and block out all that noise? You can strive for more, you can strive for better. Check out the other videos on this channel. Check out the Forging Pillars videos. Check out all my content here, but also at swolenormousx.com. There's amazing testimonials there. Check out the community. Check out the unlimited access page. Check out the Seven Pillars free download at swolenormousx.com. But the Swole Fam, you could join for less than three bucks and plus all the other memberships. You got yoga classes, you have an entire yoga yoga studio, a meditation center, hundreds and hundreds of yoga classes, meditation sessions, full programs. You can do them in a gym, you could do them at home. You can do most of the stuff even without equipment with the yoga and the meditation and the body weight, the mobility, the Swollen 7 mobility, the Swollen 7 repair. You don't need much equipment at all to jumpstart your community, jumpstart your fitness. Just 
get out of that environment. It's all about tightening up your environment and what you surround yourself with. So if you're tired of all the bullshit, you're in the right place. Check out swanormousx.com. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like the video, share the video, all that good stuff. And I'll see you real soon for some more nuts on your chin. Peace the fu out. Ooh, that was a good one. What do you think my BMI is? Hmm? What do you think my BMI is? Wouldn't be so high if it wasn't for this horn, but that horn skews the whole damn thing. I was overweight, but then with this big juicy peppermint tip, your girl is obese. Am I a boy? I'm a they. I'm a cis unicorn. I'm a cis unicorn. That's right. I'm a cis white red peppermint unicorn. A, ci a cis peppermint tip. Unicorn pride. Unicorn acceptance, love me, love me. Just because I'm big, just because I'm bulbous, just because my BMI is 59, <laughs> because of these big fat titties, ya you know, ya you know. We stay woke, but y'all sleep. Real emo, but y'all sheep. Out in public, she a good girl, but at the crib, she a real queer. New throne for the new king. Same kid, now my streets go. Same gang, got the cheat code. I said, stay woke, we in real emo. I said, stay Clowns. You will not get a laugh out of me You can talk but you can't denounce I live a different theology Why I transfer to a new account You just fucked over a prodigy Posted up with a rented crown You are the king of the apology You about to see a new side of me I hope you know We stand up and watch our enemy go Empire fall, my legacy grows I might just hop on this melody flow All this vision, no clarity though Y'all play a game that